to my channel. Um, today's video, I'm basically going to be talking about really pretty much anything, but my main topics today are going to be the character updates Star Stable posted on their blog. Get it? So they posted their blog today, and I'll read it in a minute. But yes, so yeah, I'm just going to be talking about random stuff and um, the player updates, when they will be released, um, etc, etc, and also some jobs I've done. So yes, let's just get right into this video. Hey, my friend came over and filmed two videos with me, and... I just quickly pulled my horse over. Um, so here is the blog post Star Stable posted today. So it says, as announced in the previous blog post, we're really hoping to deliver it, meaning the characters, during the summer, ideally in June. June is two months away. Um, and that is really exciting. So. They're saying, it will depend, of course, on several technical aspects, including performance, optimization, and bug fixing. We do want to release it as soon as we can, as we can't wait to let you all access these options and enjoy the updated graphics. We're reaching a point where we feel confident about the stability of the release, of the release and we feel like the player character has a solid foundation we can build on for years to come. There will be a regular update after the initial release to continue to improve the experience. So that's pretty soon that it's going to be coming out. So I'm super excited for that. I can't wait that they are finally putting it out. It's been almost a year when they started. I'm so excited. And yeah, I guess we'll, that's the main thing. So yeah, I guess we'll move on to the rest of the video now. The first job that I've done, and it is babysitting, and I've done a lot of it. Babysitting, I guess if you don't like kids, then you shouldn't do it. But if you do want kids and like like them, then you should definitely do it. The fun thing to do if like, you like kids, of course, and I personally do, and I do want kids, so definitely do it. I mean, if it's just something I feel like everybody, I guess, should do. Um, and it's better, It and it makes money. And I've found out it will also help the way you think of kids and the way your kind of, I guess, mindset around kids is. It will help also when, if you have kids when you're older because I feel like a lot of people don't understand kids. They don't have siblings or anything. They don't seem to know what to do with them. I've done a lot of babysitting and it's fun. It's easy way to make money. And honestly, if you're babysitting younger kids, like almost like babies and like toddlers, it's not hard to the point like you have to be with them like every second but you do kind of besides when they're like napping which is like my prime time because you're basically not even working you're just doing you're just like sitting down not doing anything but you're still getting money for it so it's really nice and it's also just it's a good experience to know how to treat kids and I've had a lot of cousins when I've been growing up um so it's it's really it's really fun. You you should try it out. <laughs> try it out sometime. Anyway, so moving on from babysitting, I'm gonna move on to another type of sitting. Dog sitting. I've done dog sitting also a lot and it's really fun and easy and all it really takes is of course you need somebody that has dogs and the main things you have to do is if it's a very like high kept dog you need of course to do everything the owner says but 
from my experience, all it's really been for me is just feeding and watering dogs and putting either the dogs or cats outside, whoever, whatever needs to be. And you can also do cat sitting. Cat sitting is easy because easy cats are really easily kept as long as it's not like a high maintenance cat, like a Maine, Maine Coon. I can never say that breed. I know it's like the easy Maine Coon or oh my, I'm not even, I don't even know how to read this. Okay. Um, so it's really an easy job and I think everybody should do it. Um, the next one, cleaning. So I've, I've only done this a few times, but cleaning is probably one of the best jobs I've done because it helps you also you get older because you're, oh my gosh, you're gonna be cleaning when you're older, obviously, because if you have a house, you're gonna be cleaning and oh my gosh, <laughs> if you have a house, you're gonna be cleaning and it's, it's it, if you don't know how to clean, it's not gonna be easy because if you just leave your house when you turn 18 and then get an apartment and then don't know how to clean, then of course, you're not gonna have a well-kept house. And who, who doesn't like a well-kept house? Of course, I know, I, I, I'm just gonna say this, I shouldn't use this word, but I hate messy houses, especially, even if like my house is messy, it's still, I just, I just don't like it. I get like a, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a claustrophobic feeling, but it's more just, Oh my gosh, I don't know where to step. Like, like what? What do I do? So, I definitely feel cleaning is a good job. And the first time I did it, the best thing to say, to hear from the person that you're doing the job for is you overdid it. And that's what I heard. And it was so nice to hear it because, well, I did. Like, I swiffered, I mopped, I cleaned, I did, I was in a church that I was cleaning, and I cleaned all the pews, I mopped all the pews, and it was just, it was fun, and I like cleaning if I'm in the mood for it, I guess you could say, or if I'm doing it as a job. I take jobs seriously, and I don't, I don't skimp, I guess you could say. If it's for money, I don't skimp. I do what the person tells me to do, if not more. So I'm just, I guess I'm, I, I guess you would say I'm just very particular with the way things are done. Um, but sometimes I'm not. I mean, of course, like sometimes I'm just like, I'm gonna do whatever I want. But when it comes to like a job, then I, especially if it's for money or for somebody else, even if it's just to do a favor for somebody, I, some birdie, somebody, I want it to be done right. So, of course, it's very important to do jobs. So some of the goals for this year are definitely keeping a good, I guess, time and like schedule for my channel. I'm not I'm not doing month breaks anymore. I feel like that's just, it's just bad. I mean, nobody wants to watch videos that are like months apart. Like I'm gonna make a good schedule. I haven't necessarily come up with that schedule. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Um, it's important, I feel like, as I'm getting older, it's, I feel like YouTube, it, I want it to become more a part of my life because I feel like the past times it's just been like I've done it for like a month and then I quit for like two months and then I go back a month later and I'll do like 10 mi 10 videos five videos and then I'll stop again and then I'll do like two videos and <laughs> take a break and there's like just constant like going back and forth but I feel like I want to make a schedule but I feel like it's just hard for me because the f 
further we get into the year, I feel like the busier we're getting. But I definitely want to make a schedule. That was one of my New Year's resolutions. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're stuck in the hay. Okay. That was one of my New Year's resolutions, and I want to make sure I do that. So, I don't know when you'll hear the schedule. I was thinking week, two weeks. I don't know, it goes off and on for me because sometimes like the past few days I've just been in a mood of of like constantly training and doing a whole bunch of like stuff. So yeah, it's it's important for me to I feel like come up with a schedule and I really wanna do that. I wanna make sure that my few my few viewers are getting the best quality of videos they can and that's something that's happened lately is I feel like they're not and I want to make sure that you guys are so my plan this year is to get a better filming thing and uh, better filming equipment everything and getting a better computer as well I'm going to be getting a bot hopefully hopefully this is just all, all of my hopes we're gonna be get I hope I get a box I don't, I can't, I don't actually remember what it's called, but it's like a box thing, it's like gigantic and it has a whole bunch of stuff in it, and then you get a monitor and a good keyboard, and then a filming program, which I don't, that's the thing about me, I don't really know the best filming and editing programs. I have one, but it's the one that came with my computer, and I'm just using it. Because it works, and it, it works for me at the moment, and I'm just, just using it as I can. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, for, I mean, hopefully it works for a while, because of course, I experience issues with it a lot of the time. Horses, okay. So the more and more Star Stable are releasing horses, the more and more I've noticed that I feel like they're not making them to their full potential. So here's basically the gist of it. They're getting horses out faster to make more money, but when they make more money, that's usually just because of the horses. It's not because people are actually really invested in the game. See, I've been invested in the game for a long time. And still, I'm wishing and hoping for more quests, more updates, but not just horse updates. I mean, real updates. They haven't been coming out with them fast They need to. Quality is better than quantity. I need everybody to understand that because I feel like mm, Star Stable is more about quantity than quality. They, they put out some good horses. They put out a lot of good horses. They also put out bad horses. They also put out a lot of clothing. And the more and more they're putting out clothing, the more expensive and expensive and expensive it gets. And I hate that because the latest they put out was almost 130 star coins. That's almost 200 star coins. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!